many MindMup users will start seeing a warning message to convert their maps into a new format on Google Drive. Here's a quick explanation why this is popping up, and what you need to do about it. Unfortunately, Google decided to remove collaborative editing capabilities for Google Drive files in third-party applications. This feature, called Realtime, will stop working in January 2019. Until July 2018, MindMup used this function to store mind maps on Drive, and to allow users to edit maps concurrently. If you see a warning message when you open a mind map from Google Drive, this means that the contents of that map are stored in the Drive real-time format, and you will need to move it so you can keep using the map after January 2019. For security and privacy reasons, MindMup does not have access to your files offline, so you need to activate the conversion yourself. There are essentially two options. You can keep the map in Google Drive but in a different format, or you can move it from Google Drive to MindMup Cloud. Maps that stay in Google Drive will behave similar to plain files. If two people try to save the same file at the same time, that the last person will overwrite previous updates. If people are looking at your map while you are changing it, they will not see the updates instantly. This means that collaborative editing on Google Drive is not going to be as convenient or safe as before. On the other hand, some other applications that only work on plain files, such as Google Classroom, will be able to use mind maps in the new format easily. MindMup Cloud Storage is designed for collaboration. Changes to your maps are sent immediately to the cloud, so you do not have to manually save anything, and anyone viewing the map while you edit it will see the updates in seconds. It's perfectly safe for several users to modify the map at the same time. Saving a map to MindMup Cloud also makes it possible to collaborate with people who do not have Google accounts. MindMup Cloud collaboration is available to all MindMup Gold users. We are not able to offer this to people without a gold account, but you can keep using MindMup with Google Drive for free. From August 2018, you have the option to convert maps on Drive to the new format or import them into MindMup Cloud. In September 2018, all newly created maps on Google Drive will start using the plain file format, so you will not be able to create new collaborative maps anymore, but you will still be able to open and edit them. Starting from November 2018, collaborative maps will become read-only, and you will have to convert them into plain files for editing. The latest information we have from Google is that even after December 2018, you will be able to read old collaborative maps, but we advise switching before the official support ends. So it's time to start thinking about which option is better for you. If you work on maps alone, or if you need to keep all the data in Google Drive for compliance reasons, then convert maps to plain files on Google Drive. If you need to collaborate with a group of people, it is better to move the maps to MindMup Cloud Storage. OK, so if you want to keep your maps in Google, here is what you need to do. If a warning message shows up, just click the Change Now button. MindMup create a new file in your Google Drive, containing the copy in the new format. It will then offer an option to delete the old file. If you want to test the conversion, keep the old file so you can compare the contents. But please remember that you will then have two copies of the map in your drive, those files are not connected, so if you change the old collaborative map again by mistake, you will need to convert it again. If you snooze the warning, you can always find the conversion option under the file menu. Just click on convert to drive file. This option is only available to file owners. If the file you are using belongs to someone else, they will need to convert it. Remember to share the new file with the people who worked on the previous map, otherwise they will keep editing the old file. If you are unsure if the file needs to be converted, you can check if it is in the new or the old format simply from the Google Drive web app. Right-click the file and select View Details. Check the file size. If it is zero, then this is a collaborative map and needs to be converted. If the size is not zero, this is a plain file, and you can safely use it in the future. For option 2, to copy the map to MindMup Cloud Storage, here is what you need to do. Using your web browser, open app.mindmup.com. Click the Sign In button on the right hand side to start. Choose the option to sign in with Google. Once you are signed in, click on the Open button on the left hand side to open the file management page for your MindMup Cloud Storage.
When that page loads, select File, Import, from Google Drive in the main application menu. On the Import screen, click the Pick Files to Migrate button. You can select more than one file, usually by holding Shift or Control button on your keyboard and clicking the files, or by dragging the selection over a group of files. MindMup will show the basic information on selected files. Check the list to ensure that the right files are there, then click the Confirm button to start the conversion. In a few minutes, you will see a confirmation that your files were copied over. Click the eye icon next to a file to open it directly. This operation copied the contents without deleting the file from Google Drive. Once you check the contents, it might be useful to remove the files from your Google Drive to avoid confusion. You can see the files in your MindMup cloud storage by browsing to app.mindmup.com and clicking the button to open files. If you need more information on any of the options, or need assistance, check out the tutorials section of www.mindmup.com. You will find a link to a more detailed document under the title, Frequently Asked Questions About Google Real-Time Changes.